People in Western countries are trained to live in fear. They train to sit in front of the TV, watching fake news, mainstream media that selectively shows all the negative and all the crime and how China, Russia, Iran, North Korea are the boogeymen of the world, even though they did nothing to anyone. So people in Western countries are just trained to be fearful in their daily life of other people and society in general. They they're very conscious about lock keeping their doors locked and remembering to have their house doors and windows locked even though they're inside their own home. These people pay thousands of dollars to have home alarm systems installed in their house, and they also pay forty dollars a month to have a home alarm company monitor their home alarm. If their alarm goes off, somebody will phone and check, or maybe help you phone the police if your house alarm goes on. When you have to pay forty dollars a month to feel to have a sense of security. This is not living in freedom. This is just living in fear. When you live in fear, you're more likely to allow the government and other people to control you. Let fake news, Western mainstream media, control you. People in China, though, are trained to be educated, trained for self-education, learning how to get ahead in life, and how to. Get ahead collectively as a society, as a civilization. That's why China is building all these nice libraries around the country. This is one of the top end libraries that you see over here in my drone and GoPro walk around、uh, video. But these、uh, nice libraries are just popping up everywhere in China. People, can, young people, old people, and middle aged people can just bring their own books, bring their own computer. Do self study as a place to hang out, or they can read the books over there. And the books include everything from social sciences, political science, biology, chemistry, physics, and math. Everything biology. So people in Western countries are just being trained to live in fear, and when people in Western countries have to pay twenty thousand or forty thousand dollars a year just to get a university education, that's not freedom. That's just censorship. That's just denying people who don't have the ability to pay. Uh, the ability to have skills to think for themselves, critical thinking skills, and when you don't have. These skills to think for yourself and critical thinking skills, you're more likely to be controlled by the government.